Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Nemo Z or Nemo Zero. You probably know me from TikTok. Today we're going to be discussing our letters from David Bullock and we're going to go into a little bit more detail on him. This is his first letter that he sent to us. Nemo spelled backwards is omen. Nemo the enigmatic captain of the Nautilus in Julius Venus classical novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. You were remiss and failed to properly introduce yourself, and you expect me to answer your rude questions. Show me a sign. Give me a reason to believe in you. Send me the lyrics of Forgotten to Remember by Mudvayne. And then he goes on to explain that he has a JPay account. Yes, they can have people email them, but I like to go by snail mail. It's much safer that way because, as he just warns, inside the mind of a serial killer is a dangerous place to be. And then he signs. Now, a little bit of background story on David. He was considered a spree killer. Um, when asked for a motive, he told the court it's just fun. He has six plus victims. That means he good possibility killed more than six. But they can only peg six. The whole spree was not very long actually. It, it only was around a month. He was born in the 60s. He used a uh, 38 revolver to kill people. And here's his backstory. Sorry, that's my cat. Born in New York City on November 13, 1960, D Bullock had a history of trouble with the law and dated back from his adolescence. In February 1977, he was arrested in Monroe, New York, on charges of criminal mischief and petty larceny. Five months later in Manhattan, he pled guilty to attempted grand larceny and was committed to a home for delinquent youths, receiving a conditional discharge in November. It goes on to say that he was a burglar in his youth. He has many robberies and larcenies. And you are in my way, kitty, please. Okay. Sorry about that. Let me get that exit out. Yeah. Thanks, monkey. Thanks. Alright. Um between December nineteen eighty one and January nineteen eighty two. He killed at least six times without apparent provocation or uh, from his victims. Number one was a 42-year-old uh, James Weber, an actor shot to death in Central Park the evening of uh, December 4th. Nine days later, B uh, Bullock told p uh, prostitute Edwin uh, Edwina Atkins about the murder, and she laughed in his face. Refusing to believe the story after sex, Bullock uh, covered her face with a pillow, shot Atkins in the head, and set her apartment on fire. On December fifteenth, Bullock was. Uh, on December fifteenth, Bullock used a similar method with Stephen Hassel, a night. A 29-year-old businessman who took him home for sex. As Bullock told detectives, there was no particular reason for Hassel's murder. It's something to amuse myself. Bullock's fourth victim was roommate Michael Winley, shot in the head on December 23rd and dumped in the Harlem River. Police accepted Bullock's version of the crime despite the fact that Winley's corpse had never been recovered. Roberto Morales age 50, took Bullock home after a Christmas party and paid it for a mistake with his life. And paid for a mistake with his life. 
According to Bullock, Morales started messing with the Christmas tree, telling me how nice the Christmas tree was, so I shot him. As an afterthought, he also set the place on fire. Thus far, as uh, all of Bullock's victims have been murdered with a thirty eight revolver, shot without apparent motive, on 4th of January, Bullock needed cash, and he was carrying a sawed-off shotgun when he met 28-year-old Eric Fuller in Mount Morris Park. Charged, charged with six counts of murder on January 15th, Bullock told detectives that there might be other victims. He had tried to shoot at least four more, but might have missed. Without specific details, bodies, or complaints from living targets, no more charges were appended to this list. On October 26, 1982, Bullock pled guilty for to six counts of second degree murder asked for a motive he told the court it's fun to david bullock murder was kind of a sport that makes me happy facing terms of 25 years to life on each murder count he was advised on the judge's intentions to meet out the sentence that guarantees you never get out of jail as long as you shall live so with david He definitely does it just for fun, and he does not have real motives. This is a drawing he actually drew for me, and you can see right here, it is signed, well, just 2020. So he actually drew that one personally for me, which is very cool and very exciting. In his next letter, you can see it's a little bit longer. Nemo, it is very tacky and poor correspondence et etiquette to Xenox a letter and send it to the originator. That type of action devalues the integrity of a friendship. I trust you understand. My religion is... I'm not sure how to pronounce that religion. I did look it up. It is a African religion, and it's all about spiritual energy. I do not claim the dead as my victims, thus no, uh, no haunts. Medication only for high blood pressure and type 2 diabetes. Regrets? Philosophically, yes. My mind is strong, my conscience is clean, my days and nights are normal. Only through necromancy can I see and speak with the spirits of the dead. Mudvane's Forgotten to Remember is part of a tattoo project I'm working on. Thanks for the incomplete lyrics. In haste, you unintentionally edited the lyrics with Eliphas, i.e. paragraph 8, line 38. I feel it on the inside, twist and control, memory has dot dot dot. You omitted an essential part of the song lyrics. I need to acquire all of the words to that song. Extra emphasis on added. Can you salvage this unintentional faux pas and send the omitted lyrics starting from line 38 to complete the song? Have an email address is another prudent avenue to help cultivate communication. Words are equivalent to often misconstrued, ergo, I can speak with my artwork. Consider this some of my artwork is featured on Serial Killer Inc., Supernaut.com, and MurderAuction.com. Go to those websites, view my artwork. When you write back, share your thoughts and feelings uh, thereafter. I'll have an answer to you, uh, to your query concern the bars burn in my hands. Signed, David Bolt. There's nothing on the back of this one. But he did draw us a different picture, or should I say he sent us a different picture, because this one is from 2018. And that is all I have on David Bullock so far. He is in the process of sending us another letter, I hope. Thank you, and have a great day. I will see you in another video.